Thanks for coming out, everybody. Today, I've called a press conference to discuss the biggest issue facing our area, drugs and crime. I'm holding this press conference here in Ashtabula City to shed light on the effects this epidemic is having on this city as well as the entire region. Ashtabula City has been ground zero for multiple murders this year. These mur murders have primarily revolved around gang and other drug-related activities. When looking at census and crime data, it doesn't take long to realize that drugs and crime are the main reasons behind most of the problems we face. This city's household median income is $2,000 lower today than it was in the year 2000. The population of the city has dropped 10% from 2000 to 2010, but its crime activity has increased by 26% over that same time period. If you live in Ashtabula City, you have a 1 in 20 chance of being a victim of property and or violent crime. 91% of the communities in our country are safer than they are in the city of Ashtabula. Ashtabula City is not alone when it comes to this problem. Pontiac, Geneva, Southern Ashtabula County, and my home of Chardon all feel the effects of this activity on a daily basis. This problem affects our families, our schools, and potential investments from any job creators. This drug problem we face is the main reason our communities have been in a virtual state of decline for more than a decade. Before I go any further, I want to point out that those working in law enforcement are not responsible for this condition. They are doing everything they can to keep people safe. They simply don't have the correct resources available to them to fight this problem. The solution is not an easy one. We simply can't arrest drug dealers and put them behind bars. Why? Because we don't have enough room in our prisons for all of them, nor do we have the resources. The county jail has a capacity of about 150 beds. Over the past five years, Ashtabula County has had an average of 700 felonies a year. When you factor in jailable misdemeanor offenses, Ashtabula County is faced with well over a thousand people who should be doing jail time, but they don't because there's no room for them. This means at any given time during the year, we have seven times as many criminals needing incarceration than we have the space to hold them. This problem is well known by drug traffickers and they manipulate this broken system to their benefit. My plan to combat this issue is based on a legislative solution. Our area sends millions of tax dollars to Columbus every year, and it's only fair that such an enormous problem that we get a portion of this money back to combat this issue for the safety of our residents. The first thing that I'm going to do when I'm elected is to sit down with all the solicitors, county prosecutors, police chiefs, city and village, and the county sheriffs to see what they need in resources to fight this problem. The second part to this solution is to secure money to build more jail space and or look at using unoccupied beds and other correctional facilities to put those criminals behind bars. Lastly, I will meet with organizations and institutions that deal with drug addiction to see what's needed to help addicts get the help they need to become drug free. This is the biggest reason I'm running for state representative. I want to fix this problem. My opponent has been in Columbus for the past two years and has not done one thing to deal with this crisis. He has not even addressed it. This is shameful. The only piece of legislation my opponent has passed in two years was a piece of feel-good legislation designating March Maple Syrup Month. The fact of the matter is my opponent has sided with the minority leadership in Columbus and has largely been a non-factor over the last two years. He's been playing partisan politics while being oblivious to the needs of our community. The people of this district do not deserve this type of performance from their representative. The people of the 99th district have a choice between my opponent and me, and it's an easy one. If you want a lame duck with no action behind his words, who will sit on his hands and do nothing for you, then vote for my opponent. If you want someone to go down to Columbus, work with the majority, and fight for you, vote for me, Nancy MacArthur. It's time to take our community back. It would cost more money to get more jail cells. 
Do you plan on raising taxes to get that money for the additional jail space? No, and like I said before, we send millions of dollars down to Columbus. It's a matter of getting some of that money back that we're already sending down there. So uh, the legislature has done this with other things. They've looked at programs like prescription drugs. They know this is a big problem, and they know it's holding Ashtabula County back. So I don't plan on asking for more taxes, no. I don't think that's the, reason, the uh, solution. New jail or larger jail is a big ticket item. It's a big How ticket it, item, right. And, well, that's uh, why I think it's important to, to meet with the safety forces. I think that they have some pretty good ideas of what things we can do and using unoccupied beds elsewhere. So we don't necessarily have to build a lot of brick and mortar up front. There, I think there are some ways that we can deal with this problem. First, we have to address the problem, and my opponent has not even discussed it at all. He has not met with the police, he has not met with the sheriffs, he has not even brought it up in his discussion. So we know what's holding this county back. And we can't fix the job problem if we can't fix this problem. Uh, what would be your idea to fix the problem? Proposals so far seem to be addressed towards the symptoms. How do you reach the core of the, the core problem? problem of drug users? Yes. Addiction. Wow, that's a big that's a big ticket. You know, I think that people that deal with drug rehab have a pretty good idea. And I think some people are rehabilitative. I think some people probably aren't, unfortunately. So I think everybody knows somebody who's been touched by drugs um, in their families and their communities, and, and it's tragic. But uh, We've got to figure out why this continues to happen and we've got to stop that vicious cycle. So we can put people away that are selling drugs and we've got to also put people away that are using them and selling them and giving them to minors as well. There's you, no easy solution. It's going to be multi-pronged. How do you feel about rehabilitation? What about rehabilitation? Well, rehabilitating because they are essentially addicts. Again, that's a really tough issue. I think addicts have to want to get better, and some of them don't. Some of them don't even know they have a problem. So I, the people that seem to know most about it are the people that have been through it themselves and have recovered. And you can go and hear people talk who've been through that same thing. I am not an addict. I've never used drugs or alcohol. So I, you know, I've never been addicted to anything like that. And, and it's, you know, it's been said it's a disease, and it very well could be, and I think that some people have a hard time uh, getting it under control, so they need help. And we've got to help those who want to help themselves. Do you think increasing, uh, improving the job market and creating employment opportunities for these people would help the situation? Well, here's the problem. People can't hire people if they're on drugs. They can't pass a drug test, they're not going to get hired. And there are jobs out there and I talk to employers all day, every day. I talk to a lot of business owners, and they tell me they can't find people that, number one, are qualified and they can pass a drug test. So you gotta fix this problem first, and you're not gonna get around the jobs problem. It's just, it's, it's not going to happen. I was just at an economic summit this morning in Jarka County, and, and the, the main message that we heard from this gentleman is that regulations are holding back our economy. We should be growing at about three to five percent and we're not, we're going at about 2%. And, uh, you know, taxes are part of it. I, I'm really more in favor of a flat tax. I would like to see that happen and simplify the tax code. I think it's far too complicated. And I was also endorsed by the Ohio Society of CPAs, so I think they know a little bit about that. Any other questions? Thanks for your time.